Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Special Hobby. As you can see that's a 170 second scale kit which copies B18B Bolo and it's ASW version so as you can see we have this nice white aircraft on the box art. And now we are going to check this kit because it's commercial sample so you will get exactly the same model if you order it directly from Special Hobby eShop. But first let me remind you that we are still getting money for the new photo and video equipment. You can help us too by pressing donate button on our website. It is easy and it is safe because it's done via PayPal and of course you will be the one who will decide how much we will get for new equipment. So this is a fresh release, it's a January kit, uh, as you can see box is surprisingly big for 70 second scale, here you can see comparison with my hand and uh, overall style of the packaging is quite typical for this manufacturer, as you can see here we have some information about the kit that it's made in Czech Republic and it's also limited edition. And from the other side we can see some safety advices that it's not suitable for uh, modelers younger than 15 years old. Um, now let's open it, it's a top opening box, so we are going to open it and check what is inside. So as you can see right on the top we have assembly manual and then all plastic sprues are packed into the same plastic bag. Obviously we will check assembly manual in the end and now I would like to take a look at plastic parts. But as far as you can see there are not that many plastic sprues, so uh, such size of the box is due to final size of the model, not because of the uh, huge amount of parts. And first, as you can see here, we have this clear sprue which is packed into the separate plastic bag. So let's open it and check what is hidden inside. So just give me a second. Obviously, plastic bag will help you avoid scratches, at least on this sprue because as you remember all other sprues are packed into the same plastic bag and now let's zoom in so that you can see everything closer. So here we have all necessary transparent parts for this model. As you can see molding quality is really nice. I don't see any problematic spots and I can even bring these parts closer so that you can see what we have here. So here is the nose section, looks really good and here we have another version of the nose section. Of course masks are not included into this kit so you have to be careful while trying to cut all necessary stickers for those parts but I think it will be worth it and let's hope that we will see some aftermarket set which will actually help you with this task. Uh, next we have resin parts and decals but we will check them a bit later. I would like to continue with plastic parts because here we have grey plastic sprue, let's zoom out a bit. And here you can see fuselage house, here you can see comparison with my hand. There is surprisingly big for 170 second scale kit, here we have some interior parts as well. And I can bring them closer, these fuselage parts, so that you can see what we have on the external surfaces. So we have recessed panel lines, note that door is molded shut so you won't be able to open it and expose what is inside. Also um, we have here full tail segment so it is molded together with rudder and the inside don't expect to get any guiding elements because that's not the full run kit let's say, that's a short run kit so that's why we get only this parts design. And note also attachment points, some of them will require due attention because you might damage the visible area of the fuselage. I am not sure why it was decided to attach fuselage parts via the top section but we have what we have so you have to work around this. Next we have another um, grey plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to wing parts. So wing division uh, is quite typical for twin engine aircraft. So as you can see we have two halves. Here we have engine parts, engine nozzle which is molded separately, tail wing, landing gear wheels and landing gear leg. Now let's bring it closer. So for example here you can see that we have quite nice external detailing on those wing parts. So as you can see recessed panel lines and riveting and all necessary hatches are carefully molded. Here you can see engine insert which looks more or less okay for out of the box offering. 
And wheels are surprisingly nice. Obviously, resin, um, let's say, alternative will look even better, but we get really good option out of the box. And note that inside we have this specialized um, element, which will help you to position those two halves together. Again, inside of those wings, we don't get any guiding elements whatsoever, and flaps and ailerons are pre-molded, so you won't be able to position them separately too. And tail wing should be assembled out of two halves. Again, we don't have any guiding elements inside, so be careful with those. Next, we have sprue with internal components. So here we have some, uh, for example, pilot seats here. And also we get the cooling parts. So as you can see, there are several options. Two propellers are here and note that attachment points are placed right in the middle. So you won't be able to damage the parts even if you would want to do it. I don't know why would you want, but I mean, just in case. And inside those cooling parts, we don't have any guiding elements once again. So be careful while joining them in order to get a nice finish. And last but not the least is this gray plastic sprue, but we saw it. So let's continue to resin parts. And my light seems to be dying. So don't be surprised if it will be a bit darker than before. Even now it's getting darker because it switches to minimum power. So here we have resin parts for um, extra detailing. So here, for example, those parts and white is gone. So we are going to crack up the white sensitivity so that you can see what we have here. So uh, just give me a second. I'll try to do to remove the light because it will help us reduce the shadow on the image and then we'll be able to see a bit more on the picture. So now you can see that we have here all resin parts, here are more of them and here is another element. All these parts come as a standard bonus so you don't have to buy them and we will check in assembly menu of what exactly they will be upgrading. Here we have another plastic bag. This one obviously is dedicated to decals and also unpainted P fret with thin film for dashboard tiles. So first of all, let's check the P fret. It's not a secret that this P fret is made in Edward. So as you can see here, we have all cockpit parts together with dashboard, seat belts, and some other elements. Then we have special film with dials for the dashboard. Here it is. And last but not the least is decal sheet, which carries all necessary decals for several marking options as far as you can see. But we will have to check assembly manual in order to understand what can be copied with help of those decals. And now we can move on to Assembly manual, here it is, um, nice color printed brochure, so just give me a second to zoom out, we focus the camera and now you can see it. So on the first page we have short history note in English and Czech, then on the next page we have parts map, also paints chart, note that those are Gunze numbers. Assembly process starts with pilot seat obviously, you will have to apply seat belts, you will have also to assemble the dashboard. Here we assemble whole cockpit. We continue by inserting this cockpit inside and we also have this special internal section which won't be visible in the final model. Next we have installation of the clear ports, tail wings, we close the fuselage, we assemble the wings here, engine gondolas, then we continue with tail landing gear, Next is installation of the main landing gear and also antennas on the top and bottom of the fuselage. Here we have first marking option. So this one copies a modified B18A 7623 from 6 Air Force 
in Caribbean and I think this one is depicted on the box art and here we have another one which is finished in olive drop and this one comes from 6 Air Force from again Caribbean but this is a bit different airframe and of course here we have short list of other kits in 170 second scale some of them we reviewed in our uh, YouTube channel so that you can find it easily by just typing one of the names for example Warhawk is quite nice kit I recommend to check it and that's pretty much all so I hope you enjoyed this video review as you can see we get a uh, quite interesting version of the B18 in 172nd scale obviously this is not a kit for beginners but with some experience you will be able to get nice big um, aircraft in small scale and I think some others will appreciate such possibility because there are not that many alternatives uh, for this aircraft on the market. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you won't miss any new video reviews and live sessions. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video as usual. Bye!